In this video, we will look at the selection algorithm. This algorithm uses the divide and conquer approach to find the kth smallest element from a set of elements. The idea behind the selection algorithm is to partition the set of elements using the partition element, such that the elements to the left of the partition will be less than the partition element, and the elements to the right of the partition will be greater than the partitioning element. Now, after the partition, the partitioning element will be in its kth smallest position. So, if j is the index of the partitioning element and is equal to k, then we found the kth smallest element, which will be at a of j. But if k is smaller than the partition index j, then the kth smallest element will be in the left partition and find the kth smallest element in the left partition. But if k is greater than the partition index j, then the kth smallest element will be in the right partition and find the kth smallest element in the right partition. So let us look at how to perform the partitioning of the elements. The partition algorithm is the same as the one used in the quick sort, where elements are partitioned based on the pivot or the partitioning element into left subarray and the right subarray. So, let us look at how to perform the partitioning of the elements. This algorithm takes three parameters. The first parameter is array A, where the elements are stored. The second parameter is M, that is the index of the first element. And the third parameter is P, which is the index of the last element. Then, within this algorithm, we will have a variable V which is considered as the pivot element and initialized to A of M. Since we are assuming the first element as the pivot element and M is the index of the first element. We will also have a variable as I, which is used to move the index from left to right and is initialized to M, that is assigned the index of the first element. Then we will also have a variable J, which is used to move the index from right to left and is initialized to P. That is, J is assigned the index of the last element P. Now, the logic is to find the position of the pivot element V, such that the elements before element V will be smaller and the elements after element V will be larger. To do this, we have to examine if any element is smaller than the pivot element. If so, then Place that element on the left side of the pivot element. So we have to move the index i from left to right to search for elements greater than the pivot element. To do this, we will use a repeat until loop and increment the variable i until the element at a of i is greater than or equal to the pivot element. Then, if any element is greater than the pivot, then place that element on the right side of the pivot element. So we will move the index j from right to left to search the element smaller than the pivot element. To do this, we will use a repeat until loop and decrement the variable j until the element a of j is less than equal to the pivot element p. Now, once we find the element at index i, which is greater than the pivot element, and the element at index j, which is smaller than the pivot element, then swap the element at index i with the element at index j. To do this, we will check if index i is less than index j. If this is true, then we will swap the elements using the statement interchange and pass the parameters a, i, and j. This function swipes the elements present at index i and index j in array a. Now, the loop for incrementing the variable i and decrementing variable j must continue until variable i is less than variable j. And once i crosses j, then we need to stop. Therefore, we will have the repeat until loops for index i and index j within outer repeat until loop, that is, to execute the loops until index i is greater than index j. Now, once the index i becomes greater than index j, 
then the outer repeat until loop will terminate, which means we found the position of the pivot element, which is at index j. Therefore, we will now assign the element at index j to the element at index m, which is the pivot element, using the statement a of m assigned a of j. Then we will assign the pivot element, that is element v, to the element at index j using the statement a of j assigned v. At this stage, we found the position of the pivot element and place the pivot element in its position. And finally, we will return index j, which is the index of the pivot element. So this is the partition algorithm to perform the partitioning of elements based on the pivot element, where all the elements before the pivot element v are lesser than the pivot element and all the elements after the pivot element v are greater than the pivot element. Now, let us come back to the selection of the kth smallest element. After the partition, the partitioning element of the pivot element will be in its kth smallest position. So, if you observe, the partitioning element or the pivot element is at index j, which is index 5, and it is the fifth smallest element. We can clearly see that all the elements, whatever they may be, before the element at index 5, which is 54, are smaller than 54. So, after partition, we found the kth smallest element at index j. But if k is smaller than the partition index j, for example, if k is 2, then kth smallest element will be in left partition. And we perform partitioning on the left partition to find the kth smallest element. But if k is greater than the partitioning index j, for example, if k is 7, then the kth smallest element will be in the right partition and we perform the partitioning on the right partition to find the kth smallest element. So, having seen how to perform the partitioning, we will look at the selection algorithm. We will call this algorithm as SELECT. This algorithm takes three parameters. The first parameter is the array A, where the elements are stored. The second parameter is the number of elements in the array. And the third parameter is K, that is the kth smallest element we are trying to find. Let us consider these elements in the array. So, we will have the first argument as A, which is the array. The second argument n as 9 because there are 9 elements in the array. And the third argument k, let's say 4. That is, we are trying to find the fourth smallest element. Then, to partition the elements, we need the index of the first element of the array. So, we will have a variable low initialized to 1. Then, we will also have a variable as up initialized to n plus 1 to represent the index of the last element of the array. Here, we are using n plus 1 because partitioning algorithm will be considering an additional element at the end of the array. Then, since the partition algorithm considers an additional element at the end of the array, so we will have a of n plus 1 assigned infinity. Then, we will call the partition algorithm by passing the first argument a, that is the array, the second argument low as 1 and the third argument up as 10. The partition algorithm partitions the elements and returns the index of the partition element. So, we will assign it to variable j. In this case, the partition algorithm returns 5, which is the index of the partition of the pivot element. Then, we will check if k is equal to index j using the if statement with the condition k equal to j. If this is true, that means we found the kth smallest element at index j. So, we will have the return statement. In this case, k is 4 and partition index j is 5. So, the condition is false. So, if k is not equal to j, then we will check if k is less than j using the else if statement with the condition k less than j. If this is true, then we will move the up index to the jth index. That means we will now be searching 
for the kth smallest element in the left partition. But suppose if k is greater than j, then we will have the else statement and we will move the low index to the j plus 1th index. That means we will now be searching the kth smallest element in the right partition. In this case, k is 4 and j is 5. So k is less than j. Therefore, we assign index up as j. Now, we need to call the partition algorithm again. So, we will have all these statements of call to partition algorithm, if statement, else if statement, and the else statement within repeat until loop with the condition until false. So, now the partition algorithm will be called passing the first argument A, that is the array, the second argument low as 1, and the third argument up as 5. The partition algorithm partitions the elements and returns the index of the partition element, which is assigned to variable j. In this case, the partition algorithm returns 4, which is the index of the partition or the pivot element. Then, we will check if k is equal to j. In this case, k is 4, and the partition index j is also 4. So, the condition is true and we will return. That means we found the fourth smallest element at index 4, which is 45. So this is the select algorithm, and this is how it works for selecting the kth smallest element using the partition algorithm. Now let us analyze this select algorithm. The select algorithm uses partition algorithm. The partition algorithm has two inner repeat until loops which will execute for at most n times. Therefore, the overall time complexity of partition algorithm will be O of n. Now, coming back to the select algorithm, the first three statements are primitive statements. Then, we have the repeat until loop, which will execute for at most n times in worst case. And within this loop, we have the call to the partition algorithm, which has O of n as the time complexity. The other statements within the repeat until loop are primitive statements. But since they are within the loop, so they will be executing for n times. So the overall time complexity of the select algorithm will be O of n square in the worst case. In the best case or the average case scenario, the kth smallest element may be found as the first partitioning element. So, the repeat until loop will execute only once. And since the partition algorithm takes O of n as the time complexity, therefore, the time complexity of the select algorithm will be O of n in best case. So, this is all about the select algorithm, which selects the kth smallest element from the array of elements.